always try to understand what these methods are or can we change their name? Say so get age, set age makes sense. Uh, but can we use some other names? I, actually, we can. Instead of saying get age, we can say, let's say we can say ABC and set age, we can say XYZ. We can do that. Okay, there's no harm in that. The only thing is when you call these methods, of course, you have to change the name. I will say this is XYZ. So when you set the value, you have to call XYZ. And then when you fetch the value, you have to say ABC. And it surely works. If I uh, try to compile this and run, you can see it works. Now the problem with ABC and XYZ or any name is your method name should define what is, a, what is your intention. Because see, most of the time, it's not just about writing code. It's also about reading code. When you write a code once, it will be read by multiple people in the entire lifetime of a software. Why not use proper words which explains what that method is doing? So instead of saying ABC, if I say get age, it, it is actually makes sense, right? It is much more readable what you're doing there, right? And as I mentioned before, it is not a compulsion to use the same name. But then as a Java developer, we have adopted this standard. Whenever you want to get the value of a variable, the method name would be get space the other variable name, the variable name, which is age. To set the value, you will say set and you will use the variable name, which is age. Okay, so that's how we can use this. So this is called a getter. So for the variable user, this is a getter. And to when you want to set the value, so the method is called setter. So we can say that those are getters and setters. Uh, in fact, the beauty is if I delete the entire part, okay, let me just do that. I know we are, we need to type that once again. Actually, you don't. Most of the IDEs have this amazing feature. You can just right click and there's an option of source. In fact, it doesn't matter which ID you are using. Uh, you will see the option of source or insert code, something like this. So you will say source action. What do you want? You want to get, you, you have to say, generate getters and setters for me. Click on that for both the variables and click on OK. You can see it will generate the methods for you. And you see that variable names, it's same. Get age, set age, and then we got get name, set name. Okay, and those are called getters and setters. And of course, there is no compulsion to have both the methods. You can also only, you can only have get name. You don't want to have set name. That's your choice. There's no compulsion that there should be both. Uh, it depends upon you how you want to implement it. For this example, I want to assign value to age and name. I want to get the values as well. And that's why I'm using this too. So only thing is for every variable, you need two methods, getters and setters. Okay. So yeah, that's it. Uh, but there's only one issue now. If I use the code, which is given by the IDE, you can see this new keyword here. We got this. What is this? So let's talk about this in the next video.